Hello everyone, Jay's Cool Things here, and today I'm going to be making the third episode in my tutorial series of how to script in Roblox. Now, this episode I will be teaching you how to make a day a day and night cycle, alright? So, first things first, we're going to add a script into the server script service. Just erase the default text. Now First, let's get let's get the basic function that we're going to be using in this episode is going to be game, which is the general, just everything over here. That's the game. Dot lighting. So that's calling up the lighting, and then colon set minutes after midnight. All right, now. What this does is um, it'll change the lighting so that it corresponds to the time that we will put here. Let's make parentheses. Let's just say we wanted it to be 5 a.m. We would do 5 times 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour and it's set minutes after midnight. So 5 times 60 minutes after midnight would be... 5 a.m. So let's play. Let's see if that's what it looks like. And as you can see in our game, it is now 5 a.m. So, how we could make a day and night cycle with it is by doing this. Let's start at, let's just say, 4 a.m. So, uh, game dot lighting set minutes after midnight and we'll just start at 4 a.m. so we do 4 times 60 right now the thing is um, after you do after you get to 12 times 60 you can't just go to 1 times 60 to do 1 o'clock in the afternoon you'll have to do 13 times 60 14 times 60 you see so 4 times 60 game dot lighting set minutes after midnight uh, 5 times 60 and then game dot oh well, okay I just know something I mistyped lighting you always want to be careful always check over everything right there game dot lighting Minutes. After midnight, all right, six times sixty. Now let's let's try this out. Oh, well, did I misspell something again? All right, yes, I did. Okay, now let's play. You may notice that it's not changing at all. Why that is happening is because the computer tries to um. The computer tries to run every piece of code as fast as it can. So, this is where our wait function will be will come in handy cuz the computer is trying to do this all as fast as it can. And as long as you don't have a potato computer, it's going to do it so fast you won't even be able to see it. So, this is why we have the wait function because it tells the computer that it has to wait for a certain amount of time. So, wait one so it's going to be one second in between each hour wait one all right now let's try see it changing now if we wanted to make a day and night cycle we'd have to do this over and over and over for a long long time if we wanted it to keep going for like minutes or hours so Here's an easier way to make it go for that long. All right, what we're gonna want to do <clears throat> is we're gonna do something called a loop. So let's make a variable called minutes after midnight. All right. Now let's print. Oh wait, no. Wait, I gotta set the variable. Minutes after midnight equals zero. So the game will start out with the minutes after midnight being zero. All right. 
Now we're going to do a loop. While true do. Alright, that is how we start a loop. Now if you press enter, it should have the word end right there. So, we're going to do this. Minutes after midnight equals minutes after midnight plus one all right this will pretty much make it so that minutes after midnight will be minutes after midnight but plus one so it will just add one to minutes after midnight so let's say minutes after midnight is zero it'll add one to zero if it's one it'll add one to one which will be two you get what you get it right so now what we're going to want to do now is game dot lighting set minutes after midnight I oh, guess all right set minutes after midnight and then we're going to make the parentheses and we will do minutes after midnight all right so minutes after midnight equals zero and then it goes into a loop minutes after midnight equals minutes after midnight plus one now this will make minutes after midnight one so game dot lighting set minutes after midnight minutes after midnight so it's gonna make it set it to whatever this variable is but it was changed right here so it will always add one minute to minutes after midnight All right, and then we'll just do wait one or actually here let's do point one so it will go fast so it'll wait point one seconds now the thing about infinite loops or well it can really stop whenever you want it to you can but that's more advanced we'll get into that later uh, so in a loop if you want it to if you don't want your computer to crash you'll probably want to put a wait function somewhere in it so it doesn't just try to keep executing as fast as it possibly can so just put a wait function in it so it will wait so if you look closely the sky should be changing here let's go to lighting see the, the time of day is changing slowly right now it's 2 30 a.m. 3 o'clock. See the sky changing right there. Uh, there it's going. There. Yep, yep, there it goes. Turning brighter. 4, 54, 5. Alright, you get the point, right? So let's stop this. Right there, we just created a day and night cycle. And that was the point of the video, just to teach you guys that. So, I will see you guys all later. If you liked the video, please subscribe so you can just see all my latest videos. Turn notifications on, maybe. And, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, maybe you can leave a like if you liked it. Leave a, leave a comment if you don't understand anything. Like, if there's a part that you that you didn't completely grasp or understand you can leave a comment about it and I will try to help you alright so I'll see you guys all later and goodbye